So let's go into the creator and make a race. Online was right here at the start. Creator. Been a long time since I've made a race. I used to make them all the time. Made quite a few. A lot of my early GTA videos showcase my races. Uh, create a race. A land race. So what I typically do when I create a race is I get close to the screen and that's what I'm I'm getting up. Oh wow, my headphones are popping like crazy. I don't know what that was about. Sound like I had popcorn in my ears for a second. So I pull a chair up close to the TV, being very careful to avoid all the children's toys that make tons of noise. That rhymed, by the way. So, my race details. I don't like looking at the red things. They bother me. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. Anyway. So what, what type of race? We want GTA race, obviously. I like point-to-point -point races. Uh, preferable over lap races. Uh, we're going to start out with every available vehicle. Default class will be sports, because hey, why not? Uh, default vehicle. I have no clue what that is. Time of day will be a, you know, noon races are the best. You can see everything. The game looks good. The weather will be clear. Traffic will be off. Wanted levels will be off. Lobby radio will be Los Santos Rock. Uh, no forced view. That's kind of cool. You can do first person only. That's, that's nifty. Okay, so now we're going to go back. Now we're going to place our trigger. We are at the very tip top of the friggin' map. I'm going to place it somewhere really, really, really hard to get to. That seems like a smart thing to do. I'm, I'm joking. Um... Uh, so gonna let me place it anywhere, which is interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Is there an airplane flying over? There is. See the shadow down there? There's an airplane flying over, but I can't look up. So, where am I going to build a race? This is what I always do. I kind of poke around and scout and, and try to decide where I want to make a race. You can see a lot from up here. I kind of like this area. Um, a little bit of dirt road, a little bit of back and forth. I've got I've got a few races that come in around through here. Let's um. Yeah, let's do something silly. It's not really silly. I like that you can ramp right off this and land down here and just kind of keep going. It's kind of cool. So we're going to put the trigger. I'm going to put it right there. Oh, I can't. Okay. That makes more sense now. And I put it on top of the two. I don't really want it out in the middle of the road. There we go. So the trigger location is there, the lobby camera. Oh, gotta stay in the red circle. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's a big red circle. That's a good view. We'll, we'll look off that way. 
out over the military base. Okay. Checkpoints. Here's what we want to do, guys. I don't understand the problem with that. All the cars are white. Oh, uh, that makes there. Okay. I'm going to try to get all the cars on the road. Cool. There we go. Now for the triggers. Um, I want people to actually do this properly and go down these corners. So what you do is you place the triggers where the road really needs to be followed. If someone wants to try to skip that one, that's fine. So then the next one is going to be a bit more obvious. We did down here. Do I want to turn and go back up that hill? If I do, I basically had to come down over there. That becomes a lot of asphalt really quick. I want to keep a little bit of dirt road action here. Yeah, you utilize some of these sharp corners and stuff. I haven't built a race in a while, so it's very possible that these this won't make sense to the player. But I hope that's not the case. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Kind of wrap around it under here. I'll have to set one here so it makes it point correctly. And then we're going to actually we're gonna take a left turn here. Or sorry, a right turn. I don't know my damn directions. Uh, should I get back on the road? Or should I go up this way? Was wanting a little bit more asphalt in this race. Okay, so we're gonna... So we turn in there... We're going to make a left here. Hit the road there. I'm worried these checkpoints are a little too close together. Um, so we're going to turn left here. cut back here. A lot of tight corners in this race should be good for nailing the e-brake and drifting. Now we're going to come back across this bridge. I like the 
covered bridge, but we're not going to mess with that. So then I'm going to set the next one there. There. Then we're going to make a left turn back up this hill. checkpoint. There's 29. And then 30 will be up here. We'll stick it on this bridge. Kind of the only way to go right here. I'm gonna turn. Turn down this way. And that'll be the finish line. That'll be good. Four miles, four and a half, four and a half miles. Um, okay, now I want to do props. Allow prop stacking. Oh, well that's cool. I haven't messed with this since they added prop stacking, so I have, I have, I have no clue. You can, just, you can put things anywhere now. This is insane. So that's not apparent where I need to go. I might need to put one right here. Oh, I rolled it. I've never driven this car before. If I like it, I might have to buy it. I like how far back you sit. Don't like that. It's super easy to shoot at me through the rear window. So I'm not doing so hot. Pretty cool little car. Ah, uh, the dash sucks. I've only seen that one change in these two, right? Or it's not super apparent which way I need to go. But I can put, uh, I can put props up to block the road, can't I? Sure can. That'll make things easier. those ramps. It kind of feels like they take forever to make one of those mega ramps. Now that I see all the stuff you have to do to get them straight and lined up. That suck. Ooh. 
Ooh, I'm tired. I don't know if any of you guys watching have ever made races, but the cars always start off that this brown color, and if you wreck them, sometimes they get like a blue, purpley sheen to them. Kind of weird. I imagine there's something to that, and I just don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. Not really a drift, but hey, whatever. It's fun. Okay, right there you can have to look at the map a little bit to figure out which way to go. That's fine. People should be able to look at their maps. With as many people as have with as many people making races as there has been, or as many races as have been made, I wonder, like, if there's a race it's the same as, or, you know, 90% the same as this one. It'd be kind of interesting. I bet there are some races made that are very similar to other races that were made. Because really, there's only so many roads, and if you really, really get into it, there's not a whole bunch of roads in this game. There are quite a few, and they can be made into many different arrangements, but there's not a ton. In the city, I guess you could make all kinds of different stuff, but out here, <coughs> you know, there's only. If you're staying on the road, there's only so many intersections. I'm sure the, uh... Whew. Sorry for the yawn there. I'm sure the actual number would probably blow my mind. Okay, so it's a fairly easy race. I don't want to have to test it again in this video. Let's do. So tell you what, <clears throat> I'm gonna learn about ramps, and I'll be right back. So here we are driving over towards uh, Trevor's Air Hill, and I'm still in test mode for the race I was making. <clears throat> and I think you can see it. Um, I uh, started figuring out how to stack ramps. A little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But I'm getting it. Something I, I want to learn, so I'll figure it out. This ramp right here probably yeah, it takes you pretty steep quickly. Alright, we're going to try these out. Kicked me off. That's a pretty good jump, though. I don't think anybody really complained about that. As a as a thing to watch. So right here on both of them, it just gets like all of them gets real steep. And what you should do, I think, is not use the large jumps, but use all medium jumps for a much smoother approach. 
Oh, I bet I can backflip this thing. Oh, that's gonna happen. Uh, whenever I watch my videos and edit them and everything, sometimes my southern really shows. Oh, yeah. Landed it. Actually, I'm going to show you guys making this. This is how I figured to do it. You can take the ramps and they will see how they're going up the other ramps. I can actually make these a little bit even, even steeper. And it's just kind of following up, so test it again. This video is going to get long, guys. Actually, I'm going to spare you the trip over there. Okay, here we are. Car is only slightly damaged. Uh, a little bit of damage in the front. A little bit of damage in the rear. I actually did roll it once, but... But we're not worried about that. So what we got, these ramps I added a little bit too. Alright, so here's your little kicker at the top. Put you up pretty high. Well, it's going that fast. Let's try this one out. This is the first time it's ever been tried, so. It was nice and smooth. I mean, you can't really complain about that. Oh well, I think that'll be the end of this video. Stuck here behind a tree. Hope you liked it. Uh, subscribe. Come back for more. Hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the dislike button. Tell me I'm a loser. Oh man, whatever. I don't care. Go for it. Not gonna bother me any. Um, yeah, I think it's time to build some more races and more ramps. 